This is Dr. Phil Chavez. Brothers, since the beginning of Christianity, the reception of the Eucharist was considered vital for eternal life, as it is regarded as the full human and divine presence of the body and blood of Christ. Now, this constant teaching of the real presence of the Eucharist was not contested seriously until after 850 AD, when a French Benedictine monk, Retromnus, asserted that the bread and wine of the Eucharist are simply mystical symbols memorializing Christ's body and blood. Now, a similar position by another monk, Berengarius, gained ground in 1047 and was condemned by the church in 1050. Brothers, isn't it amazing for the, for, for the first thousand years of Christianity, the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist was not challenged in any serious way. Today, this traditional teaching of Catholics is challenged by the majority of Christians. Yes, bread and wine are symbols of Christ on many levels. In his great sacrifice, Christ's body was ground like wheat made for bread. His blood was poured out like wine from grapes in a press. And yes, the repetition of conferring the Eucharistic presence at Mass stands as, as a memorial of Christ's sacrifice. But brothers, the Eucharist is also the reality which it symbolizes. It is the true body and blood of Jesus Christ who is really and substantially present under the form of bread and wine. At Mass, Christ offers himself up in sacrifice through the priests who confects bread and wine into our Lord's body and blood. And at the finish, Jesus is received as divine food in Holy Communion. In the Gospel of John, chapter 6, Christ teaches repeatedly that he is the eternal bread come down from heaven, enabling others to reach eternal life by consuming him. The scriptures say, again, John chapter 6, the Jews then dispute among themselves, saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, truly, truly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. He who eats my bread, flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise him up on the last day for my flesh is food indeed and my blood is drink indeed he who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him this is the bread which came down from heaven not such as the fathers ate and died he who eats this bread will live forever like food brothers in the natural order keeping one alive the Eucharist the communal body and blood of Christ keeps one alive spiritually and fit for eternal life. So brothers, take care and be at Jesus' table. Consume that bread of heaven and reap what he paid for you. Brothers, God be with you.